Next, we define mappings or functions. Uh, they mean the same thing. Okay, let's say we have two sets, A and B, and for each element of A, we if we can assign one element of B, uh, let's call it F of A, which is an element of B. So for each element of A, there is a unique element in B, and if we make uh, this as a rule, this F is called a mapping. Okay, and we write F from A to B, or A to B via F, and so on. So, so basically, a function is a rule for mapping each element of A to an element of B. Okay, and in this case, we say this, you know, uh, set A uh, domain of F of F, F is this F, and B. So this is the source of this arrow, and this B is a, is the target of this arrow. Is called the code domain of F. Okay, and sometimes we write uh, DOM F is A, and code domain of F is B. Okay, DOM oh DOM F and code DOM code domain of F is B. Okay. And also we define the image of F, image of A by F, uh, image of F. Uh, it's also written as F of set A, which is defined as F of A, where A is an element of A. So if we use uh, use Venn diagrams, uh, suppose this is the set A and this is set B. By the function f, each element of A is mapped to an element of B, like this. So for a different element, uh, we may map another element in B, and so on. But it is also possible that two different elements in A is mapped to the same element in B, like this, same element. Okay. And regarding the image, if what if this A is the empty set? So since we can choose no element from A, uh, then there should be no corresponding element in B. And the image, therefore, the image of the empty set is the empty set. So for whatever the mapping F is, uh, its image, uh, the image of empty set is the empty set. Next, we define some terminology regarding functions. So let's say we have a function from A to B. Then uh, we say F is injective or uh, injection or one-to-one. Uh, one. So this means if uh, A1 and A2 are elements of A such that they are different, then F of A1 
is not equal to f of a2. Okay, so this means different elements are mapped to different elements. Different elements in A are mapped to different elements in B. So if this is true, then we say this mapping is injective. And second, F is uh, surjective, surjective, or a surjection, or onto if and only if every element in B for every element in B there is an element of A such that F of A is equal to B. So what does this mean? So if we have two sets A and B. So if we pick any element in B, okay, let's say this one, there is always an element in A such that that element in A is mapped to the chosen element in B. Okay, so this means the image of uh, A by F is uh, uh, the image covers the entire codomain. Okay? In other words, uh, we could write, uh, so this means B is equal to F of A, uh, image or image of uh, A. Ah, that's so sorry. Uh, it's not A. It's Uh, but you may think this is always true, but that's not true. Okay? Sometimes uh, the image of A may not cover the entire B. So sometimes it, it's possible that only part of B is covered by the image of A. Okay? For example, uh, for it, for if th that's the case, then if we pick some element from here, then there is no corresponding element in A. Uh, maybe you can think of some example like uh, f of x equal to x squared, uh, and f maps from real numbers to real numbers. Okay, In this case, if you pick negative real number from this code domain, then there is no corresponding element in and the real numbers here in the domain. So in that case this function is not a surjection. Okay. And three F is bijective. Or a bijection. Uh, if f is injection injective and bijective uh, sorry uh, subjective uh, so if f is both injective and subjective then we say f is bijective or a bijection So that means every element in B comes from some, some element in A. And if uh, two elements in A are different, then their, their image in B are also different. Next, we define function composition. Composition. So if we have two functions, f from a to b and g from b to c, then we can define 
a function from A to C, okay. which we write as G circle F uh, that maps A to C. And we define this, uh, so this is the composition of F and G. So we say uh, G after F and that is defined by uh, this G of F of A okay, it's, it, maybe it's easier if we uh, draw a diagram like this A, B, C so if we pick an element in A then we first map this element by F so this will the result will be f of a and then we map this element in b to c so by g so and the resulting element will be uh, g of f of a but together uh, this is a single mapping and that is G circle F. So if we pick A here, then we just map. Uh, we have this element as this, but that is defined to be this element, G of F of A. So this is the definition. So this is called the func composition of G and F we call it G after F. Sometimes it's convenient to use diagrams like, uh, like this A, uh, B, C. From A to B we have this function and from B to C we have G. And if we compose these functions we have this function G after F. So this is a whole new function defined by the uh, composition of f and g. Okay. Now uh, let's prove some uh, theorem. Uh, suppose we have two functions f and g f from a to b, g from b to c. Then we have the following results. If a and g are surjective, then g after f is also surjective. And two, if G, F and G are injective, then G after F is also injective. And three, if F and G are bijective, yeah, this, uh, that, uh, this part Part three is very trivial. If we add once we admit one and two, uh, bijective, then G after F is also bijective. So let's prove only part one, and part two and part three will be an exercise. So. Uh, proof of part one. So suppose uh, F and G are subjective. So, and we what what we want to show is that uh, uh, G after F is subjective so uh, pick any 
C element in C okay uh, since G is subjective there exists an element uh, element B such that uh, G of B is equal to C right then of course uh, B is an element in B here uh, then since F is subjective there exists an element in A such that F of A is equal to B right therefore so if we substitute this B into this B here this B into this B here, we have uh, G of F of A is equal to C. So this means for any element in C, there exists an element in A such that uh, G of F of A is equal to that C. Okay, but uh, by definition, this G of F of A is G after f of a therefore uh, g after f is subjective okay and okay so that's it for subjection and similarly similarly you can prove you should be able to prove uh, part two so if f and g are injective g after f is also injective and once these two are proved then part three should be trivial next we show that uh, function composition is associative so this is actually a theorem so that means if we have three functions a to B to C to D uh, F G H then we have this associative law H after G after F is equal to H after G after F okay what this means uh, uh, is this uh, let's see a, a uh, b c d so we have this function g h and this is g after f and this is uh, h after g then we can uh, go from A to H either in this way or in this way but either way we get the same result that's what this means okay let's prove this one uh, so we just apply the definition okay so for for any element in A we have uh, let's first apply uh, this one okay H after G after F of A so according to the definition so first okay this is one function and this is another function so according to the definition this is H of 
g of f of a okay then we apply the definition of composition to this part and that will be uh, g of f of a right then consider this part and this part and apply the definition of function composition so that will be h after g of f of a now this is a h after g is a function so we apply the definition of function composition to this function and f that would be h of g uh, circle f of a so for any element in a we have this equal to this therefore h after g after f is equal to h after g after f okay and that's the proof <laughs>